Welcome back, horror fans. Today, we are answering Saw's biggest unanswered questions. There is a lot of unanswered questions. This is a franchise that uh, likes to ask a lot of questions and not answer so many. I must admit, when we were putting the content for this video together, or even I was just like, hang on a minute, this is too much. <laughs> I can't, it's, it's too many. I've had enough. I can't, <laughs> my brain can't think. It's very uh, convoluted at times. But, very uh, convoluted, but that's why we love it. That's why we love it. We yeah. love to speculate and I, like, mysteries. I, I recently have rewatched it. Maybe th I'm on my third rewatch now within the span of a month. And every single time there is something new I think of or something new that you figure out and you're like, oh my God, that's very smart. There's too much. There's, There's so many much. things. Yeah, we've, been, we've been thinking and racking our brains over so many questions. So we've been delving around and doing mm -hmm. a lot of research. And uh, I guess our first big question, everybody thinks this when they watch the film, of course. We're talking yeah. about one of the biggest unanswered questions from Saw 3D. What yep. is the question? Uh, the question is, who are the pigs that are helping Lawrence Gordon at the end of the film? Who are Gordon's helpers in yeah. the end of Saw 3D? Um, which we do get an answer to, if you can count the director's commentary as an answer. That's right. Um, a lot of people ask this question, and when yeah. you're watching the movie, you're thinking, what the hell am I seeing here? Who are these people? Well, yeah, I feel like you, you're you like, oh, wow, cool, and then they just never answer it, and they, yeah. they shut it down. Um, the pigs are actually revealed in the director's commentary, uh, which, again, take it with a grain of salt, because that can always change. We know that we can't really rely on director's commentaries. Um, but they were supposed to be uh, Brad and Ryan, who Brad yeah, and Ryan from were the in start the first of the film. trap of the film. Um, of course, so some of you may already know this, yep. but this is a big question that was answered in the commentary of the movie. If you go and watch the film uh, on DVD, if you can track it down. Mm -hmm. uh, but effectively, we, we did actually find out that at the end of the film, he's not by himself with some random people. It is actually two characters from the start of the movie yep. who are now working. Which I think in this instance of, of the unanswered question itself, uh, you definitely do start to think oh yeah maybe this question would have been delved into a bit more if it was a two-parter yes unfortunately paranormal activity knocked it out and saw six out of the box office so we didn't get to see saw 3d in two parts so this was the original intention of the makers of the movie yeah we were going to have a two-parter and then saw 3d got cut down to one part mm -hmm. and they squashed the movie and i feel one. like they definitely could have delved on this a bit more yeah there's a lot of story to tell yeah. and I've, i know for, like, for why <laughs> <laughs> for one why is it yes. brad and ryan brad and ryan i mean look let's okay let's talk Talk about it for a minute. Yeah. This Brad and Ryan being now apprentices of Jigsaw. Apprentices or are they just helpers of Dr. Gordon? Did Dr. Gordon seek them out? Did yeah. Jigsaw seek them out? Did now Jigsaw we're asking too many questions that we're answering. Plan for them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really don't know. You never find out. All you find out is that it is Brad and Ryan helping him. Yes. And when you hear that the, that the apprentices are Brad and Ryan under those pig masks, it, it does kind of make sense. I mean, as far as the Saw I mean, franchise yeah, goes. I, I think people would have, there is multiple people out there that would have hoped it was maybe Adam under one of those masks. Yes. There's a lot of speculation that maybe they'll be revealing I think, in the future. I think it does make else. sense for the movie itself, like Saw 3D alone. Um, but I feel like for long-standing Saw fans, I, I feel like they definitely hoped maybe more for more yeah. um, and I feel like if it had have actually been done in a two part and we had have got more questions answered it, it definitely could have worked a lot better um, but either way the film never actually reveals itself who is under the pig mask and I actually I don't know I think I kind of like that better than knowing that it was Brad and Ryan yes and I yeah. think that they decided in the editing room to just let's let's just let's keep it open let's, let's, yeah just let's in keep case. it open yeah. at the end of the day they they did reveal in the commentary who they planned to have under those masks that's not to say that they can't go forward and yeah. maybe in another sequel change, later. change that later because we haven't officially said it was Brad and Ryan. I think at this point, if they did want to say who it was, if they want to say it in Saw 10 or Saw 11 or Saw 100, uh, <laughs> if they want to turn around and say, you know what, in Saw 3D, those extra pigs, they were actually Adam I and feel like, yeah, it's <laughs> it's definitely um, something that they can bring up in the future. I, whether yeah. it's going to happen in Saw X, I, I highly doubt it, um, but Look, I think... If, if they ever did show it, I, they certainly wouldn't be Brad and Ryan at this point. Let's be honest. No. What's Brad and Ryan up to these days? Exactly. Nothing. Yeah, They're no, not going to be like those guys if, from Saw 3D. If the question, like we get the question answered, it's not going to be Brad and Ryan. No. The commentary has said it is, but if they come back to this in a later sequel, it's not. They'll Brad change it. It's going to be changed. They'll make it work yeah. for the story going they ahead. They will. They will. So anyway, that's a big question answered. I mean, yeah. if you didn't know those, know those pigs under there, they're actually characters from Saw 3D. Mm -hmm. 
It's good to know. Public execution That's trap. right. We're yeah. here to investigate more questions. If you have any questions about the Saw franchise, because there's a lot of them, <laughs> and if we don't answer them in this video, please ask those questions below in the comments. We would love to discuss it. We have a very healthy, very, very healthy little social club going on down yep. below in the comments. And I love all the theories coming through yeah. from everybody. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's great good. to go back and forth because a lot of people have their own theories and it's very interesting. People get very creative. Uh, that being said, we're moving on. What's our next big question we're here to answer? Um, the next question is, where the hell is John's body? John Kramer's dead and has been for 10 years. Not this John Kramer bullshit. Uh... You may want to rethink that. Where is John Kramer's body? As we see in Jigsaw, uh, the body is replaced with Edgar Munson. Edgar um, Munson. They, they <laughs> I love the name. <laughs> I love the name. Not to be confused with Eddie Munson from, from Stranger, Stranger Things. Things. No, we're talking this about a different Edgar Munson, Edgar Munson here. Yeah. Um, now, they, yeah, they want to dig Jigsaw's body up to make sure he's actually dead and make sure he's not yeah. performing the murders that are, that are happening, you know, 10 years after his death. Yeah. Um, and Edgar Munson is in the coffin instead, which uh, we later find out that um, obviously Logan dug up Jigsaw, surprisingly, yeah. and so no one else knew that the body had been dug up. They just, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, John's body is disappeared. We don't know where it is. Yeah, it's a very interesting storyline, really, because it's so unnecessary. Oh, it really does not make general. any sense at all. Like the no fact sense. that they went and dug up Edgar Munson, but didn't notice any sign that the grave had already been dug up yep. and then re-put back in the ground and there was no sign of that happening. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense at all. But I do love the um, plot point though because I don't know the last time anybody went and dug up a serial killer just to prove that he was dead. Yeah. Hey, maybe yeah, that serial killer's back. No, he's dead. And We're the, the way up. that they mention it in Jigsaw as well, they're just like, oh, well, they're going to dig up John and then Halloran's like, oh, why would they do that? Yes, it's just yeah. really like... It's a very interesting plot It is, line. yeah. Uh, but it's a lot of fun and we enjoyed it. And but yeah, in saying that, his body is still missing. The fact that his body's missing and they never really touch on why it would be missing or what did they do with it if it wasn't there yeah. is an interesting question. I feel like it's a question that they just thought no one would really care about. Like they didn't have to answer yeah. it because they didn't think anyone would care, but little did they know. Yeah, we don't have any definitive answer on this one yeah, specifically. There is no answer. But um, we are given some clues maybe as to possibly where it is. Well, Logan's obviously taken it. Um, yes. Now with a Logan, we, we do see that Logan obviously used the blood underneath John's fingernails when um, John first died to keep that and then use it later on. Yeah. So is there is there stuff that Logan is trying to get from John's body? It doesn't make a lot of sense being what that the body is 10 with years the body? old. I don't know. Being that the body is 10 years old, like, there's really no use for him mm. with the body. But I would assume Logan still has a body or whether he's buried it somewhere else. Who mm. knows? I, I just, yeah. Well, that's right. We are going to answer this question with more questions because we could be asking ourselves, look, there is a certain collector that's uh, appeared in these movies. Yeah. Uh, Eleanor. Yeah. Now, she's got her hands on a lot of stuff that not normal people would be able to get their hands yeah, on. Yeah. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, she does mention that she... Um, makes some of them like she makes some of them out of the blueprints but how much of that she's made and how much of it she's actually found somehow yes. who knows um yes. the thing with eleanor as well is you actually see that uh the um the saw replica from mm. the the first saw is in there and everyone's speculating well has the bathroom been found because how else would yeah. she have a saw yeah. replica um and that would mean obviously all the people that are well the yeah, the people that are dead in the bathroom would have been found as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't think they really thought about that too much. Well, that's right. And outside of uh, outside of Jigsaw or John Kramer being reanimated and back in action, uh, I guess we can really ask ourselves. Maybe she, maybe the collector has ended up with his body, yeah. possibly. I mean, she has a lot of his stuff. And yep. It would make sense because this leads into another question that we've got unanswered, and that is, where is she? Where is she? Was she? Did she escape? Yeah. Does she have his body? I mean, she wouldn't have his body if she'd been kidnapped that's by right. whoever was in that car. Because look, it's a, it, there. That scene is very interesting mm. when it pops up because it could just be seen as she's. It's just a passerby uh, saving her, and she's run out on the road and asked for help. Um, but 
they're in the middle of nowhere. They're in the mm. middle of nowhere. Was this person just a person driving by? Was it maybe someone who's helping Logan? Who knows? Um, yeah, there's a lot of speculation that maybe she has been kidnapped. There's a lot of theories on there uh, is. on what she's up to. I, I personally don't know if I believe it. I think that at this point in time, obviously she's fleeing the scene where Halloran is there and she still suspects that Halloran is the killer. So there's no need to kidnap her or, or do anything with her at all because she doesn't know that Logan did it. No. She still suspects Halloran. So why would they kidnap her? But people think that, that, she, that she did get kidnapped. So As far as I'm concerned, she's alive and well though. Yeah, well, I would assume that it really was just a passerby who helped her and, yeah. and got her to safety. And then, obviously, uh, Logan at the end does actually state that Eleanor would be his alibi for um, uh, Halloran being yeah. the creator of the game. So I don't think it makes a lot of sense for her to actually have been kidnapped by another disciple. There's too many disciples at this point. No one's working with Logan. People are reaching. I Yeah, I, I strongly believe she's fine. Yes, Safe. I think so for sure. They're only yep. adding more disciples as they go. And look, if she's sitting there and making all these traps as she goes, apparently she's recreating these traps. Maybe she's cloned John from his body. <laughs> and that's really where we're going. Well, they are very futuristic traps yeah. in this movie. You've got the laser collar. So oh, that's right. maybe they have gone as far to say. Could you imagine they've cloned John's him clone. and, it's, and it's a baby John Kramer? And he could be growing up over the years, you know? Yeah. That'd be really cool. Yeah. I'd enjoy that. That definitely does sound like a Saw movie. It, yeah. sounds, it seems like what they could do with it, for sure. Could you imagine them growing up a little baby John Kramer and they give him a little tricycle just like Billy has and he rides around on it and stuff? Yeah, it'd be so cool. He could be friends uh, with Billy. I don't know how to feel about all that. I don't know. I think <laughs> uh, compared to Jigsaw and Spiral and stuff, I think uh, these are some uh, these are some good ideas for some movies. Yeah, briefly touching on John's body, we don't know what happened to it. Like... It, it, it is an unanswered question. Unfortunately, we don't have the answers for you. Um, yes, this oh. is one I think that they can come back to later. Definitely, that I feel like they'll they'll come back to yes, later. Yes, but it is very point. fun to speculate. Again, we'd love to hear what you thought yeah. might have happened to the body. If you've got any ideas, what you theorize. Did Logan forget about it? Is it just rotting away somewhere? I think the producers forgot about it. But yeah, <laughs> well, they did. The writers forgot yeah, about it. They didn't really think about it too much. <laughs> um, and next on our answer question we have... Um, Amanda's letter. Amanda's letter. This is a great one. This was the one that was so hard to figure out anything about. Um, yeah. Obviously, well, obviously, if you guys have seen Saw 3, Amanda reads out a letter that was supposed to be from John, um, which makes her a little bit upset. Though. She gets upset about it. Yeah. We, and we sort of found the question. I mean, we have a bit of a guess, We haven't maybe. seen the letter at this point. We have That's no right. idea what is in the letter. We just know that whatever Amanda reads, it upsets her. Yes. Um, now, this is something that they don't touch on in Saw 3. They don't find out in Saw 3 what the letter is. Um, we just assume that it's from John. Yes, exactly right. And in Saw 3, we just assume it's a nice letter from John. She looks a little bit shocked, you know? Uh, reading upset. The upset. Upset. Yeah, shocked. Upset. Very um, upset. But, of course, that being said, we have found the original letter. The original letter that wasn't the, the one before it was swapped. That's yeah, right. The one that John did originally write her. Um, how Whether or not this is actually the real letter, I'm not sure. It's, it's just been found on a Reddit post. Uh, but supposedly the letter read, My dear Amanda, the enclosed is for you. To ease the waves in the sea, you must navigate. Talk with Anthony McDonald at the branch. He will take care of all. Do not look back, only ahead. You have arrived at the door. Walk through. Don't look back. You are strong and well. I know you think you have nothing to teach. We teach what we need to learn. That is enough. May I always breathe life into your soul as you have done to mine. With love and hope, I believe in you, John. A very touching letter Very, from John. very touching. Um. I feel like now reading that, we know why they kept it out of Saw 3. Yes. It, it, it does seem very out of place. I think Saw 3 also had a lot going on in the end. There was like oh, a yeah, lot there of was different things so much. And, that, you know, it, it's obviously revealed uh, many times that there was all these different endings that yeah. they had for Saw 3. So they did have a lot going on. And I think ultimately it worked in their favour to leave the letter out, obviously, because, yeah, it's not the letter that they decide to go with. That's right. Um, it was a very, very touching, but also maybe yeah. a bit too lovey-dovey type of letter. Too lovey-dovey. I, I personally like the way that it pay, uh, played out a lot better. Yeah. Um, it kind of painted out John to be some sort of weird poet as well. Yeah. It's uh, not, almost not normal English for him. Well, supposedly jo uh, John on top of the whole ending of Saw uh, was actually supposed to regret everything he'd yes. done. Yeah. Um, so maybe that letter 
fed into it, maybe, because he is so lovey-dovey in that letter. Maybe it, it did feed into his whole regret of mm. everything he... Also, he didn't really... I want to say he kind of almost didn't treat Amanda that well in Saw 3, you know? He sort of had a lot of attention on the Doctor. He started to get very frustrated with her. short with her. Yeah. You know, made a bit jealous. And obviously, like, later on we find out Mark was in his ear about Amanda failing mm. and she would fail the test and, I don't know, maybe there was just a lot going on. All of his apprentices were fighting. <laughs> they all hated each other. He had a lot of stress, okay? There was a lot going on, There yeah. was a lot. So that original letter, uh, you know, love it or hate it, quite an interesting piece. Uh, it uh, is. You know, to, to read the actual yeah. letter. Uh, and, of course, we could call it a sore wreck on if you'd like, but a few movies later we decide to find out that... Uh, Basically, Mark Hoffman has changed the letter and uh, it's a completely different meaning to the original intent. Although it's a retcon, and although it's very convoluted and they try and pull back on everything yeah. that was supposed to go down, I feel like having Amanda's reaction to the letter in Saw 3 there, it worked. Because they had that, you know, the reaction of, of sadness and it, yeah. it almost seemed like she was stressed and the way she was acting at the end when she, she it almost looked like she had to kill Lynn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, she, yeah. she didn't want to do it. She wasn't even looking when she killed her. I feel like that they definitely made it work. Um, of course, yeah. Searching sure. Mark's letter into it yes. and, and having him swap the supposed John's letter over to his own. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll put the letter up now. So this is the uh, the... A reveal of the actual letter which went uh, in officially. Amanda, you were with Cecil the night Jill lost Gideon. You killed their child. You know it, and I know it. So do exactly as I say. Kill them, Denman. Or I will tell John what you did. <laughs> so much better that one is. So this is uh, this is turning around and saying, you know what? This is a sore horror franchise. Mm -hmm. None of this poetic bullshit. Yep. We want to just have someone tormenting yep. another person mm -hmm. uh, and making things worse. This is how he got everything he wanted, almost. Yeah, and it, look, it does work. It, you know, the original reaction from Amanda in Saw Three is one where she's quite moved. By it definitely works, and I feel like when you watch Saw Three. Um, alone before you know anything the way Amanda does kill Lynn it doesn't seem right it really mm. d it just seems like she doesn't want to do it and I suppose that they, this makes sense now that knowing yeah, yeah, yeah. the letter that Mark had written but obviously yeah Amanda being at the at the murder of John's John's unborn child um, was yeah a bit of a retcon uh, they really chucked it in out of nowhere Yes, yeah, so a big um, reveal, of course, showing Amanda being at the scene. Yep. Uh, when old Cecil uh, ends up uh, bumping in. Yeah. To Jill and uh, and and I guess murdering John's baby. Yep. Uh, it doesn't really paint Amanda in good light, unfortunately. No, and uh, yeah, so Mark understands that. Yes, not that Mark needs any excuses because he'll kill anyone. He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't care. It doesn't, but... Very know, smart way for him smart. to to end up with a scene where everyone dies, which is yeah. exactly what he wanted. Yeah. And all it, all it the whole thing unfolded just by having that letter. Yeah, and it's a good it's a good way to come back to the ending of Saw 3. I think, you know, they start, obviously, Saw loves to go back to lots of different films and yep. add, like, oh, actually, this happened. Uh, but it was really cool to sort of have all these moving pieces that kind of work with the, with the set of Saw 3's final scene and... Uh, there is a lot going on in that moment. Yep. Uh, it's kind of cool that they also can add bits of Strom and Hoffman in there and there's mm -hmm. always bigger storyline and just make it all work, yep. you know? It sort of all touches on each other. And that's why we hope that going forward, Saw does more of that, you know? Jigsaw oh, and it Spiral will. probably it will. Um, did a little less, especially Spiral. I really um, hope, the one thing that I do hope is uh, that after Saw 10, they do, they keep, up with the every Halloween they release on. Oh, I can't great. see it happening because it, it does seem like there is a lot that goes into these films, yeah. like a lot. And I, I can barely believe that they were pumping them out once every year. I can see one coming out next year. I can. You reckon? I can see it. I can see I hope Saw, so. Yeah, I, I can hope see so. It's being quite financially successful. Oh, yeah. yeah. People are all over it. Yeah. 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 I know you guys are. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, uh, let's move along to another unanswered question. Yeah. Uh, is Adam still alive? Is Adam still alive? Now, I can feel all of your ears perk up <laughs> when we ask this question because uh, a lot of people are getting triggered by it. And it's either, he's, he's, yeah, he's obviously dead or he's, uh, yeah, he's alive. He's now, do alive. you guys want to know what we think? 
Nah, turn the video off. You don't want to know. No. <laughs> so this one we've been doing some good research on here. Yeah. Um. Look, there is no shortage of, of articles and Reddit posts and videos yeah. about all of you pointing out uh, certain things that maybe uh, show that Adam's body had been swapped. Um. Is the body in that we sh- are shown in saw to David Tapp's body instead? Mm. Um, I don't think so, but I think it was just an error. So in in uh, saw two, when they do show the body that's in the bathroom, the gunshot is on the opposite side to where Adam was shot, and the shackle is on the opposite side to where Adam was shackled. Yeah. Um, interesting. You could say these are continuity errors, or you could say that Adam is definitely still alive. Uh, I'm going to go with the first one. We're going to go with Adam is still alive. (laughs) (laughs) Look, I I, I don't think it would be necessarily a bad thing for the franchise if they said Adam was still alive. I would definitely like to see Lee Winnell back. Uh, I don't want the actor replaced. I'm sorry. I just don't see it working out in Saw's, uh, the franchise's favour. Honestly... I would like it just a couple in a couple years time. Lee, who plays Adam, is a little bit older, yeah, and uh, he just starts to get real balding mm-hmm. and a bit grey, mm-hmm. and he just looks a lot like Turban Bell, uh, you know. Yeah. And then he just wears the the whole outfit. I would love that. That would be great. Yeah. And then they and then they reveal that Adam is actually his illegitimate child. <laughs> he's actually he's actually a Kramer. And that was the whole twist. That would be the greatest saw twist. And now he's a, you know, and you know what? Where was John Kramer's body? This is why we asked it earlier. Turns out John Kramer's body is sitting on a throne inside Adam's apartment. Uh, and, he, and he talks to John Has Kramer's he dead it, body. He says, it? Dad, what do you want me to do for this next trap? And he listens in and dead Kramer. Yeah, That's and it, really you know, sad. That would be a great I don't like great. that. What do you mean? I would think Adam's it's not crazy. He's a bit crazy. Is he? He's I don't a bit know. crazy. I, don't I know. mean, if you went through that movie of Saw itself, you know, and he, you know, all these scenes of him scrah, screaming and stuff, he'd probably gone a bit crazy. Uh, yeah, maybe. You know? I don't know. I Look, I think it would be interesting if he was alive. I definitely do think it was just continuity errors for sure I, do, I don't think they meant to to have the bodies the gunshot on the one side I don't think that there's anything to do with a body swap uh, the only thing that I will say is when uh, in, in Saw 3D when John does say he tied up Amanda's loose ends potentially they could go back to that and be like well actually they did swap over the body but I highly doubt it yeah look I think the fact that he didn't die on screen though means yeah. that they've got that opportunity to bring him they back. They do have the opportunity for sure. And I'm sore. not saying that they don't. I oh. definitely think that they could, they definitely could, uh, you know, shoehorn it in somehow. Yeah. Whether they do it or not, I, I don't know. I'd love I, to see I think it. that if they do bring back Detective Mark Hoffman, uh, they're not going to bring back Adam as well. <laughs> I think it's one or the other. One or the other? Yeah. I, I reckon they'll bring back everybody. No. Nah. You know? No. Nah. If you can bring back some of these side character detectives for Saw 2 and 3 that were barely in the movie. Oh, look, they might bring him back in like a flashback, but I don't think they're going to announce that Adam has been alive the whole time. Now, we do know that Adam is in Saw X. He is. Yeah, we've gotten some behind-the-scenes photos of of someone who well, seems to be Adam. Mm. Um, they have changed his actor if it is Adam. Um, but yeah, Saw X obviously being a prequel. Yeah, they um, have shown that he is... In it, I guess. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be a very quick scene in a flashback that it, you I don't, don't reckon think it'll be much of a storyline. No, me. I don't. I don't. I just see a very quick scene flashing back, maybe even showing the bathroom with him dead in the bathroom. I don't know. What would you be? What would be your theory of the quick scene? Him dead in the bathroom. But would they hire an actor replacement just to have him in that having that moment? Do you think? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't see them. I don't see them bringing him back with a new actor. I just yeah. don't see it happening. Yeah, it'd be very interesting. Yeah. Well, we might as well ask uh, someone who knows the truth about whether Adam's alive or not. And uh, Billy, do you think he's alive? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's sure a yes is, or Billy. a no. Give me a definitive answer, Billy. <laughs> oh, he's not sure. Uh, <laughs> 
That's some great input. Anyway, guys, I think that's uh, it's going to wrap this one it's up. A wrap on that one. We have uh, we have a lot of unanswered questions to go through. So you know, maybe if you like this video, we'll do some more. And we'll drop the unanswered questions that you want to know about the most. Yes. We can definitely do some digging and and try and what figure questions out some you answers. want us to discuss and go through, mm -hmm. and what your theories are on those unanswered questions as well. Mm -hmm. uh, if you enjoyed the video, please sub, give us a like. Thanks so much for, uh, for your support, guys. Uh, we're having a bit of fun with this channel at the we moment are. as well, and uh, we we appreciate. We do read every comment as well. We'll uh, see you in the next one. We'll see you and in the next um, one yeah, see you guys. Thanks, guys. Game over. Ah!